Oh my goodness, that was so difficult to figure out. I could not figure out why my camera was, it was making me look so bright and I was like, I'm gonna freak out. I finally figured out what was wrong, so now we can film this video. So I'm coming at you guys with a lot of elephants in the room. If you guys have even been around, if this is your first video, you probably didn't notice anything different because you've never seen me before. But I got a new bedspread. I got a white bedspread because my other one was just like way too much was going on with it and it just overwhelmed me to be in here. So I got this one from Kohl's. And also, I don't know if you can even see it on camera, I got a tattoo. I got this tattoo. It says Jehovah Rapha which means the God that heals. Also, I got my nails done. Yeah, so I got this tattoo last week with my friend Tori, and then I also got another one, kind of impulsive. Hopefully you can and i love it so i'm very happy with my tattoos definitely out of the box for me this these were my first two ever i wanted to say those two things before i begin also this video is a cumulative haul and it is everywhere but most of it is from amazon i have gotten really into running i have a 5k race coming up this saturday and i plan to keep training until i reach a marathon we will see if that works but this is some of the stuff that i got a lot of it caters towards amazon on athletic clothes and like running essentials so I watched a lot of TikToks about like what you need during your runs so let's begin this haul so first I got this pink tank top it came in a set of three so I'll show you guys the other two I actually forgot to film the gray one so I'll go ahead and show you what the gray one looks like it is literally just the same as this one but gray so you will be missing that in the try on portion but this was one of them that came in there and then it also came with this blue one I think is a really pretty pale color have it inside out a little bit different than I'm usually working out in but also when you're running I feel like it's good to have bright colors also I wanted to say that in high school I used to wear cutoffs like regular sports t-shirts that you get I would cut the arm sleeves off and these kind of remind me of that but they're definitely a lot thinner than a usual t-shirt so I recommend I really like them I'm gonna go run in this after this video and then moving on I got a little bit of the same texture these both are very light and airy so these are kind of like that but they're t-shirts which I don't like to run in t-shirts but if I do I think I would like to run in these so I got these two t-shirts the one's gray and then the other one is pink this also came in a set of two very fun and nice material especially for Amazon and decent price I got some tank tops that I can run in they have a built-in bra so these, this is the black one. It's just like a regular tank top kind of bra type thing. And honestly, like my body, I don't love the way that I look in tight things on my upper body. I feel like it cuts me in weird places. It's hard to find things that give my body like good shape because some clothes just make me feel not confident at all. This is like a little bit on the edge of like where I'm like, oh, I look like I'm fat and I look like I have rolls, but I also am like, eh, it's just, I'm running, like I don't care. So this is like a little bit, if you're like me, that is how I feel in this, but I don't mind it and I do wear them. So I also got this one this color and when I find things that I like I buy them in like every single color that I like so I also got the same tank top in a burgundy so there we go I just love to buy multiple things of the same thing and then for like less athletic type wear but also from Amazon I got these tank tops which I got deodorant on this one and I didn't realize till after I did the try on portion so apologies but I got this purple one it's like a lavender lilac type color it's so pretty and I don't wear a bra with them because I don't feel like you need to but it's just nice to throw on as like everyday clothes especially in the summer deodorant stain and since I love them so much I bought two more so I bought this brown coffee color I think that's what color it is on the website it's coffee it's just more casual another deodorant stain and I also got it in cream which I feel like this color I do tend to wear a lot so I've been wearing it a lot lately this is <laughs> the last one that I got of that color and I would buy more so this is one of my favorite things from the haul I will link everything down below by the way that is all the shirts that I got from Amazon so now I'm gonna move on to the shorts if you guys know which I'm literally gonna run in these 
which is what I'm gonna talk about. I love the colorful Koala biker shorts. These are the only things I run in, and since I go to IU, which is like red and white, and I got some red ones just in case I wanted to wear them for fun, and because I always run in these, so it's nice to have an extra pair, so I got red ones, which I thought would be school spirit-like. I also got two of these more comfy shorts, like at leisure, if you will, and they are brown gym short type pants but i don't think i would work out in them they're honestly more like wear around outside of your room and then i also got a gray color because i feel like this would go with more and you do have to flip the band to see the strings but you can also like tuck the strings in oh i just hit myself in the face and then it just looks like that so however you want to wear them and then i got two pairs of running shorts which i don't run in these but i think they're really cute on and I got I got a pair a long time ago in the mauve kind of color. It's like a pinky color. So I liked it so much I bought two more. So I got this light gray color because I don't have a lot of light gray or gray really. So I got this. And the only problem I will say with these shorts is the stupidest. Sorry. That maybe that's rude. It's the most inefficient, bad way to design shorts, I think. It's the zipper. There's only one zipper. And the pocket, like this is the front of the shorts, the pocket goes backwards. So you know how I usually like put your pockets in forwards? This goes backwards and it's not big enough to hold very much. So I don't run in these because there's nowhere to put my phone. There's only one pocket. It's a little strange. Honestly, the pocket just doesn't make sense to me, but I love the way that they look on. So I will wear them, just not during my runs. And then I got a pair of these hot pink ones, which is more of like a summer, type of shorts so i am going to wear these while it's still hot and while i still can because i probably won't wear those in fall because it's a little too bright that is everything that i got from amazon clothing wise i also got some jewelry from there and i put a little insert of what the rings look like on but i have these gold rings because i like gold jewelry over silver jewelry that's just kind of how i roll and there's also one more in this ring set but it's downstairs and I'm too lazy to go grab it, but it's like one of those TikTok rings. Maybe I'll insert a picture here. And then I also got some earrings, which my friend Grace inspired me to do. I've been copying her lately. She's got some good ideas. They came in a set. They're from 17KM Fashion Jewelry. I'll link everything down below. Don't you worry. Here's the first pair, a little bit kind of like a paper clip. And we have the second pair, which is more round and thick. Then we have this one, a little tinier. Then we have these, which are bigger. We've got some rod looking ones. And then we have some ones that droop a little bit lower. A few running essential things that I found on TikTok. And I'll even insert this TikToker that I love to watch. She's training for a half marathon right now. I love watching her TikToks. I'll put her on the side of the screen. But she influenced me to get both of these things. I got this Roomba, uh, rup, I've never said this out loud. Rupum, rup, rupum back. Through pump path, but in the try on haul, I actually figured out how to wear it properly, so that was interesting because I thought it was too loose, but it was just because I wasn't tightening the strings, which is like obvious. I don't know how I missed that when I went on my run, it was like flying all around. I was like, Is this bag really that loose? Like, why did they make it like this? But I forgot there was like strings at the bottom. It comes with a water pack inside this, and then it's connected to a straw, so you fill it up on your runs and then you can drink on your runs, which is so nice. And then I also got these goo packs, which I don't need them right now. I heard you only need them after you go past five to seven miles. I forget what the rule is. It's a way to get quick carbohydrates because when you're running, you need energy and you're burning so much energy and calories and you're dehydrated. So this gives you some of the things you need during a long run. It comes with a bunch of different ones. I got this Oops, I got this pack on Amazon. It's got all the fruity flavors, so I'll read you guys some of them. Jet blackberry, salted watermelon, mandarin orange, strawberry banana, and lemon sublime. That is everything with my running gear and Amazon, but I did make another purchase that was way more pricey, but I definitely think it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna try to run in them tonight, so I will let you know. But I got these hokas. I'm sure if you are have any idea like about the running community they love hokas they really highly recommend them so i got these they're the bond i don't remember bond 
Bondi. They are super nice. They're huge. They do look huge, but they are so comfy. And the guy in the store just really hyped me up to get these, so it was really easy to give into the peer pressure. And I didn't need them. I have another pair of running shoes, but I also heard that you're supposed to have two running shoes just in case one goes bad. But Hoka's are very high rated. He said that your second run in new shoes is the best run. So I'm gonna run in these today and then run in them on my race on Saturday. So yay, I love them. I'm so happy with my purchase. So that is all my running gear. Moving on, I'm going to show you guys some more clothes that I got. This is all from Target except the shorts so i like these shorts they're way too expensive i regret buying them honestly because now i don't know my body is like changing from running so they don't hardly fit they make me feel really uncomfortable so i don't know what i'm gonna do with these but they're cute it's just they don't fit unless i like get really skinny i don't think they're gonna fit so so now moving on to all these tank tops and there are a lot of repeats in this so Bear with me. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this regular tank top. It's not a bodysuit, it's just a regular tank top. So I got this in white and because I liked the fit, I also got another color in tan, coffee color, cause I'm trying to build my wardrobe to be very fluid and have a lot of the same tones, like fit my vibe, whatever my vibe is. I'm trying to figure out what my vibe is. And then the last color that I got of that is more of a fall color. I love it very cute and it's just like a regular cami and when i went to target everything was on sale so that's why i bought so much of everything because it was on sale and emily and tori my friends were helping me build my wardrobe so they were talking me into it but then a few things that i got that two things that are the same two bodysuits from target so this is a purple one i love these muted like nude colors oh it's just so pretty so i got this one and then i also got black which you really can't go wrong with black so i got a black bodysuit and then my last two shirts from there are these more to dress up a little bit more so these are like really pretty satin would be the word tank tops so they're shiny and they're nice material and then i also got it in this sage green which i love sage green as you can tell my nails literally match this shirt that's everything that i got from target moving on i have more stuff that's all the clothes stuff this is miscellaneous literally random i understand if you want to click out but they're pretty cool things so stick around if you want to i got these i love these again i don't know the names of literally anything so these are vintage, I know that. That's all I have to say. But I bought these on the Nike website and they came here pretty fast, but I love the pink because I love pink. Pink is my favorite color, I think. She's beauty and she's grace. Next, I got some hair clips. I got these from Shein. I'm just gonna do a little quick show you guys. This I got from a boutique or maybe Target. Shein, I got these in packs, also Shein. So these are all the hair clips that I got in a set, but I will say they're poor quality because my nude one that I had broke. Like the little prongs are falling off slowly one by one. They're like nice for quick, you know what I'm saying? Just throw your hair up. Anyways, two more things and then that's the end of this haul. So I went to Bath and Body today with my mom. I swear, I try to not spend money there every time I find something that I want. So I got this, which I have a pineapple scrub from the Tree Hut, and I don't have any pineapple scented other things. So I got this body soap because I use the body soap honestly more than anything else, and it's pineapple scented. I've never seen this before, so I think they're so bougie. So yes, that is the other thing that I got me peeking around. That looks so creepy. <laughs> so that is the other thing that I got. And then the last thing I got from Bath & Body were these car scents. So I got champagne toast, renew and refresh, and watermelon lemonade. So I'm gonna put those in my car because I need to clean out my car before college. And then the last thing that I got, which I absolutely love, it was in my, one of my last vlogs, but I got more stuff because I can't help myself. I wonder where the mug went. Quite interesting. I think it might be downstairs. I might insert a picture. So, because I have a mug obsession, which I'm actually toning it down, I'm only taking four mugs to school, so I'm putting a lot back in the attic, but I need to just tone it down. But this is making the cut for one of the four mugs. This is the last thing in this haul, and then I'm done. So, it's this self-reflection kit. I love this thing. I love it. It comes with, I'll just go ahead and open it up for you guys, journal, a pen, and then cards, and then the cards have 
things on them of ways you can self-reflect and the way I do it is I take a card out and I write down the question in the notebook and then I write the answer and then I put the card back because maybe I'll answer those later I don't want to mark them up or put them in the notebook so I just put them back in the deck and then because I loved this so much I found these two I actually have three so I'll put the other one that I have downstairs in this video like a screenshot but I got these three decks of cards so I got the forgiveness edition for people that I need to forgive or ways I need to forgive myself. So prompts inside that just help you work on forgiveness. So it says time to forgive and then in parentheses it says yourself too. And also self love edition. I think it's important to fall in love with yourself and realize that you're all you have at the end of the day. Love that. And then the last one I got was a healing edition which is basically just healing through some things that you've had problems with that maybe you haven't really like sat down and fully like healed from I guess. So yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for always watching. I love making these videos. I can't wait to make college videos and my move-in vlog is literally this Monday. I can't believe that I'm moving in. I'm going back to school, it's crazy. Uh, I'm stressed. I'm gonna go on my run. I just wanted to sit down and film this little video for you guys and wanted to say thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. I love that you guys wanna see me. <laughs> it's actually like insane to think about i'm i'm just so blessed and thankful and grateful for you guys so thank you guys for all that you do and all the comments i love reading your guys's comments it might take me like a minute to reply but i will i will reply because i just forget sometimes things get crazy but i will reply to you thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys super soon and have a great rest of your summer if you're going back to school or moving back to school good luck with your school year and moving and everything like that so thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video bye